welcome back to the Champ Outdoors. So, this week it's holiday weekend. We're getting out here early. It's in the morning trying to beat the crowd. So, we've got a short amount of time before traffic gets bad. And we're going to try to go shallow because I have a feeling the bass are still trying to spawn. And, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Now that, let's get to it. Bait for a little bit at one fall, but it didn't look very big. Uh, so now back in here, kind of flipping lay downs. The lights come up a little bit. Yeah, I don't think the fish have spawned out. So, what, two weeks ago. Hardly any of the fish were showing any signs of spawn. Your shower is in less than five foot right now. I'd rather be, rather be around two or three foot, but. Ideally, I'd rather have a few stones up under the bank. Maybe just under the surface of the water. That's what I'd really like to find, but yeah. Let's come up a little bit in the just because there's great there's some grass and weeds where or you want to call it some vegetation it's just barely in the water now. So it, there's a little bit more of that flood, just we probably fishing that a little bit. See what we can do. Nothing makes me think they haven't spawned out is 
not seen any kind of fry. That's also one of the reasons why I was still on the walk today. I saw a real fire through here at the cast of them just kind of like set open and maybe trigger a fry garter to strike. shallow still trying to spawn and haven't spawned out is I'm not seeing any signs of fry uh, it's also one of the reasons why I started out with the walking bait just because if I happen to get find some fry they fish That's just my tail. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Let's try, Let's try something a little bit. So I've never used these baits. I actually just got them off the website. I wasn't even sure it was reputable. But they're not false. They, they always seem to be pretty good. I mostly got them because they give what they look like a knock off of. Wow, that is a lot of place. I'm not sure what I like these, but we'll see. Anyway, what I was saying about the fry garters was. Uh, that's why I was throwing the walking bait, hoping maybe. If they had spawned out, I could get it and let it just kind of set over some fry and trigger a bite that way. But no, no such luck, it doesn't seem like. Big old chunk of plastic though, that's for sure. That's a good feeling rocket just drifted in too. And man, I was waiting for it to swing.
There we go. Little one. Say. Hey, depending on where I was going next, and also my line starts swimming. He just picked it up. A little bit. There's a little better one. I'll sit in my camera. Mm. Oh my. That's a net. That's worth net. Not better fish. You might weigh that one. Oh, so good. There we go. That's a good fish. <laughs> All right, it's a good heavy fish. Tell when I set the hook on that one. There we go. All right, we might have to get a better picture now. Okay, bloody tail. It's good. Let's come down here. Let's just get the measurement on this thing. She is just fat, full of eggs. She's ready to spawn. Four point four nine, so four and a half. So looks like things gonna come together. Yeah, that one's just kind of up here on on the bank. Yeah, I guess out. I was starting to think whether I want to go up up the creek more or uh, head out more main lake. Well, I think that would help. I'm not gonna say that's helped me make up my mind any, but definitely got, got me more excited for wherever I decide to go. So, I have said it's a it, this is a knockoff lure in that. Uh, I'll let y'all know where I got it. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I thought might I got them mostly because I thought they could make a fun video. Yeah. Fishing knockoff lures versus the real thing maybe in the future. Uh, yeah, I'll try them because, again, it's a bluegill color. Bluegill colors are pretty good on this lake in the spring and early summer basically what time this time of year but yeah this is one of those baits off that Kimu site I 
Oh, it's a little, plastic is a little hard. Can't really complain about it too much. Yeah, could be one of those things where that fish was gonna bite anything that sat in front of it, but. It does help my confidence in them a bit, though. off just that way I don't bang my electronics on that tree. Yeah, like I said, that was fun. Oh, it feels good to just stick in something like that again. It's been a while since I've had to net a fish. You know, when, when you're boat flipping most of them in that, there's no, I don't, I don't ever have my net out. Mostly because I'm worried it'll be in the way. There's another fish. Little one. Well. <laughs> Definitely will compared to what we just had. Let's see if this one's a keeper. Oh, that might be. Oh, wow. It choked that one down. It choked that thing down. Let's see here. Okay, there might be something to these baits. So we got another keeper, which means we'll add it to the scale. All right, 238. Sounds like healthy fish, you see starting to try strong. And yeah, get it back in the water. Let's see if we can get a little bit today. So we replace what was on the scale from Last time out at the last tournament. And yeah. Right now we're already doing better than we would have that, that week. But these would probably actually be pretty good on walk lead. There's one. Little one. Had to ski him around that tree. Yeah, that's not a keeper.
There's a good key. That one picks it on the foot there. Okay, so what happened was I was messing with my camera. Hopefully I got it on the other one. That's working. All right. Oh, this is a fun day. Days like this, I kind of wish I. Well, that was just return day almost now. Dang. All right, get this. Turn it on. Good 18 inches or so, 17, 18 inches. Fish. All right. Three. Basically, three pounds. That definitely makes it a fun day. That one throws me a little bit of drill just kind of out here on the point. Okay. Belly's pretty flat. This one might. It's got a little bit of red on its tail. I don't know if it's fun day or not. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So we got three keepers, nine pounds now.
I will say it is one thing I do like about that scale. It is a let you track stuff kind of like, like this for today. Oh, it is a decent sized fish. Oh, no, a good one. Came off that stump. Watching pan optics. That's probably one worth that. Yep. Oh, my. There you go. There's another good one. Alright. I'm over here. Ooh, there'd be a fish on that stump. So it was okay with the Tough it's like that one. Wait till it's up there trying to spawn. This might be one of my better videos yet. I was not as big as this. So we got four keepers for 14 pounds now. Man, I think hit like a ton of bricks. So we pulled hard, fought hard. That's a fun fish. Back up over here. Another three pounds a little over. Not quite four. Okay. Boom. And let's get right back up. So it was a pretty good short trip. Uh, had four keepers for about 13 and a half pounds. Pretty good, a lot of fun. Um, biggest was that first keeper, about four and a half. Had two in the three range. And then one that was down in the twos. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, call off fish. And, yeah, it wasn't bad for just a little, like, three-hour trip. I was throwing that uh, little creature bait I found on Timu most of the day. It's the, only, I, it's the only thing I really got bit on. I threw a walking bait this morning. Had one just kind of lazily swipe at it. And I figured it's still a little early for that because... I'm going to throw that over 
hatch cry and try to catch fry garters with it. But yeah, and then had one kind of fall fall the glide bait up to the boat, but it just wouldn't commit. It didn't look huge, but yeah, it's still a lot of fun. I mean, uh, let's see, all the fish came pretty shallow. Well, we saw the keepers did. Uh, caught some. Had one decent short that was suspended, but or kind of out where it should be suspended, and I think that was just kind of a random bite and just tells you how good and lucky of a day it was. But yeah, it was just a blast out there today. Um, clear conditions, water still a little chilly. Um, it was nice and cool this morning, right at about 49 degrees when. When I left the ramp, it's about 70 now. Water's in the 60s. It's just getting good. It's getting to where fishing's fun up here right now. Uh, crappie, I saw a lot of people, I saw a lot of boats on the bank throwing minnows on bobbers. Uh, on the live scope, I saw some in about 10 foot of water, about four or five foot deep spent on, hanging around on some cedar trees and standing timber, but yeah. It, just a blast it's i say the fun time of year on this lake is here it's setting up great i mean the way to a win i kind of wish i was fishing a tournament i mean it would have been great to have that kind of day for a tournament day and i'd probably still be out there trying to grind out that fifth key uh yeah i say with that i hope you all enjoyed it i had a lot a lot of fun uh please like comment subscribe I say, hitting that subscribe button doesn't cost you a thing. It means the world to me, helps the channel grow, and allows me to keep doing this and, you know, maybe build up to some bigger, more fun things. And with that, I'll catch you next time on the Champ Outdoors.